At the start, they said that I've got it. I still don't really know what it is, you know. I did have a strong vision or an idea in my head that I knew I'd love to be in America. I'd love to be able to train and work out at Gold's Gym. It's been one heck of a ride and it hasn't been easy the whole time. There's been a lot of challenges, a lot of hardship and certainly made a lot of sacrifices and worked my ass off. You know, sometimes you've got to take a leap and not be afraid to, to take the risks. I was definitely one of the kids that wanted to stand out and, uh, and make something out of this life and be unique and, and different and I didn't want to ever have an ordinary life, I guess. So I was always driven towards trying to make that happen. Bodybuilding, it's it's not a task for me, it's not it's not sure. I enjoy it, you know, and it, I balance it out with everything else that's going on around me. But really it's just about sort of having fun on the side and, and not taking it too seriously. This is the mega reverse shoulder leg press. What you do is you just sit on the seat like this and it's just good for the legs. Hamstring develop. Have you ever seen this way? There's a great variation. This sort of a program, you know, it's ideal for anyone who's been training for a while and anyone that really wants to just prioritise certain workouts, you know, you can sort of manipulate the program a little bit to suit you, your needs. It's very straightforward. I just go to the gym, you just take out, you know, at least two hours out of your day and devote to going to the gym and training, which opens up, you know, the rest of your day to, to do whatever you want. So it really is a... Uh, balanced program, it works the whole body in a week. I've got two different workout weeks, so I do week A, there's a set of workouts for that week and then I change it for week B, so it's actually each week is different and I'll do that for, for six weeks and then I'll probably change it up completely all, all together, so just to keep my mind fresh, the muscles fresh, you get to a point where your body um, knows what's going on and uh, you need to sort of individualize and start finding ways to make programs work for you instead of you work for those programs. This is like a Friday ritual. Every Friday, come here at three o'clock to my favorite spot down here at Venice. And uh, yeah, get a little pump on. So I uh, just here at uh, Gold's Gym, Venice, California, and this is uh, the home gym. I have a sort of a skeleton nutrition plan. It does involve obviously getting in enough carbs, proteins, and a little bit of fats every meal. Just about sort of knowing your body and knowing what works for you. Half buffalo patty and half chicken breast and a side of the barbecue sauce. Sounds like gains to me. Paleo cross uh, bodybuilder. They're the bodybuilder bagels. You should never shop when you're hungry because you just buy so much shit. Head tilt right back, open up the throat, straight down the hatch. See you later. Oh, that's some good milk. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Everyone says, you know, everything happens for a reason. There's so many different ways you can look at it. You know, some people call it luck, some people call it hard work, some people call it fate, destiny, faith, anything. You know, it's just utilizing every single chance that you get. It's just, just take it, take it as my dad would say go by the balls and run with it. You really do get one good shot at certain things in life and, and this one came up and you know I did leave a lot behind uh, back home in Australia and all my friends, family and things like that so, so I just wasn't satisfied. I felt like I was in a little bubble and I wanted to go and experience a lot more and see if I can make a difference somewhere. So still, try, still seeing if I'm going to make a difference somewhere I guess. We'll see what happens. These are all my toys. Which python's bigger? Just plain milk straight from the tip. Hunger. Ah. 
Do more. Ah, ah, shit. That's good. Eat food, eat protein, eat carbs, lift some weights, enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, what's the point? So you hang your heel over the edge like this. Yeah, yeah, it's called a toe raise. I want to have champion front calf gains. You know, 12 reps, yeah. two sets. And then drop set. Yeah, a drop set. 